Welcome to this episode of YouTube. We are here on Christmas Eve doing wolf care. We had a little bit of snow yesterday. You may have noticed Grizzer was locked out of the east side until we could get the roof raked. We try to get the snow off the roof so that they don't slide. And uh, obviously uh, today is a little warm. We had a 33 degree morning, uh, but with some colder weather coming, uh, we always want to make sure that there's no risk. Uh, a couple of days ago, it was cool enough where Grizzer was coming inside for breakfast. And we do allow him to come into the building when uh, we have temperatures around zero or below zero. And it does take a little bit of patience for Grizzard to eat. This is his morning ritual. Um, he takes his meds and what's called bone dust. And that's just a small meatball where the meds are placed. And uh, he does take a little bit of time coming in and out of the building. Does not like to be locked into the building, but uh, certainly enjoys that opportunity. It melts the frost off of his face uh, and uh, makes it uh, easier for him to, to maneuver. Uh, in the exhibit pack, a little bit different uh, opportunities there. Rika is offered food every morning, smaller amounts, but these are carcass feeders in the exhibit pack, meaning that they have a deer carcass that's either fed on Tuesday afternoons. We've got some hunter scraps or we're feeding a deer or a steer or a beaver on Saturday night. So we do share with a lot of scavengers in this exhibit, but with Rika being a singleton and not having a pup uh, to uh, chase and um, you know, rough house with uh, she has uh, plenty of opportunity with the ravens uh, chasing them on and off the carcass, uh, usually when the boys are sleeping. So, excellent, Grayson. Again, feeding on that Tuesday night on uh, hunter scraps there, and Axel's demonstrating what's called a face wipe in the snow. Uh, just after feeding, had a little blood on his neck. He's going to use the snow to kind of clean off that blood. Rika sees that as an opportunity to maybe look at that as being a play bow or something to, you know, encourage her to interact. Uh, and you'll see her get a little excited, do a kind of a spring bounce, what we call a play bow, down on the front haunches and really trying to engage Axel where Axel's just really trying to clean his face. Uh, he's not really interested in Rika. He does roll over for her though. Again, those two are getting along much better than they had been in the first months of the introduction where Rika was pretty intimidated by Axel. Now things to be, uh, things seem to be a little bit better between them, although she is trying to do a little grab biting there and uh, Axel goes into what we call the zoomies. So like I said, we get snow on and off here and uh, the nighttime scaring cameras do pick up some interesting behaviors, but typically seeing behaviors ramp up around three o'clock into that five, six, seven o'clock at night. What's interesting about this is this Grayson and Rika shoulder to shoulder. And so we're really watching her develop and watching her determine, you know, which of these two Arctics does she want to maybe pair bond with? Uh, we do have experience with that in the past with, even though the Arctics are neutered um, and it's not a reproductive circumstance, it's certainly a social pair bonding uh, stance. And so we saw that. And then just this morning from the surveillance cameras, this is Grayson coming over, demonstrating again a face wipe. Uh, that's just a grooming uh, technique there. Then he does another behavior you might recognize in your own dogs, a circling time to make a bed. They willingly walked over to where Rika was resting and chose to sleep next to her. So one of those behaviors that we're really watching. Wild Wolf research has shown that sleeping distance proximity decreases as wolves get closer to the breeding season. So again, even though we don't have reproduction here, we have some of the similar traits. And so Grayson is is sleeping closer and closer to Rika as time goes on here. So we'll see how Rika responds to that. And as you can see here, he's actually touching Rika and she's well aware of his presence. So those are some of the behaviors that you might be picking up on the either explore.org cam or the International Wolf Center's camera as well. It's gonna be an interesting winter as we watch these behaviors progress. And if you'd like to learn more about our Ambassador Wolves, you may want to consider a subscription to our webinars. We do offer 14 one-hour webinars throughout the year 2022, where we will share our observations of pack dynamics. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.